Tropical cyclone Veronica is causing destructive winds and heavy rainfall on the central Pilbara coast. Here are the latest updates and footage of the storm. Hi, it's James Ashley here from the Weather Bureau. Just thought we'd give you a quick update on what's happening with tropical cyclone Veronica overnight and into tomorrow morning. Currently the system is hovering just off the coast, almost exactly halfway between Karata and Port Hedland. And overnight we're expecting it to gradually weaken and move towards the west. At the moment the most intense winds and rainfall are in this stretch to the area between about Roeburn and just to the western side of Port Hedland. Basically this darker shading here on the image. As the cyclone drifts westward, we're expecting those conditions to slowly move westwards but there's a weakening of the system as it does so. So while the situation in, in Karatha and Roeburn is very windy at the moment, it's likely to continue that for most of the night. Um, then in June to tomorrow morning, the system will start considerably weakening. And by the afternoon, we're expecting it to fall below tropical cyclone intensity. So to the messages to the people out there is to bunker down, sit through this. It's a serious system, packing lots of wind and rainfall and take care. Hello again. Category 2 Tropical Cyclone Veronica remains slow moving just off the Western Australia coast. Whilst the Cyclone Centre has not technically made landfall so far, communities have seen the full impact of Cyclone Veronica throughout Sunday and early this morning. A cyclone warning remains in place from just west of Port Hedland down to Mardi and inland to Panawanica. Tropical Cyclone Veronica approached the coast during Sunday morning and has remained almost stationary since then just offshore. Roeburn saw winds gusting over 100 kilometres per hour for around 24 hours from Saturday evening through to Sunday evening. It's often slower moving cyclones like this that do greater damage because their impacts are felt for such a long time. Although Veronica was downgraded to Category 2 overnight, winds are still gusting around 130 kilometres per hour near the cyclone centre and we can still expect destructive wind gusts along parts of the coast today. Those onshore winds are generating a storm surge as seawater pushes onto the coast. Tides at Port Hedland this morning are still running above the expected tight height and this means that this afternoon's high tide around 1.30 will rise above the normal tide mark with some flooding of low-lying coastal areas east of Roeburn possible. Flood warnings and watches are current across the Pilbara with heavy rain still falling and the continued risk of roads being cut and communities being isolated. Storm totals so far have been two, around 250 millimetres at Port Hedland, 150 millimetres at Roeburn and slightly higher falls inland. Whilst remaining a dangerous weather system, Cyclone Veronica will continue weakening throughout Monday as it tracks towards the west almost parallel to the coast into a region of less favourable atmospheric conditions. Late this evening, we should see Veronica at tropical low intensity on the way towards Barrow Island. This is just some of the major flooding that's affecting areas around Port Hedland. You can see as the cars drive through just how deep this water goes. Now this is our first look at what kind of destruction Cyclone Veronica has left behind with the red alert lifted earlier this morning. People were allowed outside after more than 40 hours in lockdown. Residents have been out to see what kind of destruction this Category 3 cell has left behind. Trees have been the biggest problem, pulling down fences and causing roadblocks. The wind speeds were in excess of 125 kilometres an hour and the downpour was more than 200 millimetres in just 24 hours. At evacuation centres, families were on their way home. Around 140 people took shelter in Port Hedland and more than 80 people in Karatha. Cyclone Veronica in all her fury. This is Mulga Downs, 96 k's north of Tom Price. One of many Pilbara towns on red alert. No one is allowed outside. You can see why. Core hit the coast between Karatha and Port Hedland this morning as a Category 3. She brought gusts over 165 kilometres an hour and dumped 179 millimetres of rain on Port Hedland in 24 hours. And there's more to come. Veronica is slow moving. Anyone in her path will feel her wrath for much longer than usual, at least 12 hours. This is a serious cyclone. Uh, people in that part of the world are used to cyclones. 
Uh, but this one is different. It's large, it's slow moving, it will hang around for some time yet. Huge trees have been ripped from the ground as Veronica flexes her muscles. Before she hit, many evacuated the Pilbara. Karratha will avoid the once in a decade hit that was feared, but residents there are being warned to stay on alert as Veronica slowly shifts her attention west. Near the WA coast, she'll weaken tonight and into tomorrow. The rainfall will reduce and whatever is left of her will then head west. She'll likely become ex-tropical cyclone Veronica early Tuesday morning. Veronica isn't the only cyclone that's kept our emergency services busy. Ex-tropical cyclone Trevor is weakening after dumping heavy rain in our top end. Drought-stricken parts of southwest Queensland are now hoping for a deluge. Up to 80 millimetres is forecast. HVN will continue to follow severe storms in this region. So please click on the subscribe button to the right and bell for notification of new video updates.